You've probably heard a thousand times that antioxidants are healthy, but why so? See an activity that you are doing. Whether it is running, exercising, doing strength work, it tears the muscle down and causes inflammation. Even the brain tasks such as thinking, typing a new article, learning a new skill, language, reading a book causes inflammation. This is the primal defense mechanisms of our body that stimulates regeneration. It makes us feel tired, fatigued and inflamed. One great way to reduce it is to introduce antioxidant rich foods in our diet. Inflammation goes hand in hand with oxidative stress. Anytime we have an infection or acute injury or we tear our muscles down in the gym or learn a new skill that requires some brain work, inflammation will show up. And one of the most powerful ways to reduce it is to increase the intake of antioxidant rich whole plant based foods in our diet. Antioxidants are molecules or chemical compounds that can reduce inflammation and protect your cells against free radical molecules that can help relieve oxidative stress which causes tissue damage. The benefits we get from this is feeling better, more energetic, fluid and less inflamed. Think of it like this, if you cut a banana or apple in half, soon it will turn brown and this is the direct result of oxidative stress. Now if you sprinkle a little bit of turmeric or ginger powder or squeeze a little bit of lemon, it will keep being in its natural state and it will keep its natural color for longer because of the potent antioxidants and vitamin C that they contain. So where can we get those antioxidants then? Well, for those of you who want a short 10 seconds answer, whole plant based foods, stuff like legumes, beans, nuts, seeds, vegetables, fresh fruits, herbs and spices. Other potent benefits you can get from antioxidant rich foods that reduce inflammation as a secondary effect is improved mood, improved immune function, reduced DNA damage, it has anti-aging effect, it can leave you feeling more energetic and less fatigued and reduce the risk of cardiovascular and neurodegenerative diseases. There are many different antioxidant rich foods out there but instead of looking at the highest auric values foods out there for which herbs, spices and matcha tea definitely deserve an honorable mention, we will look at the list of superfoods such as apples, lemons, oranges and broccoli. For example, matcha tea has the highest auric value standing at 138,400 per 100 grams while oranges have only around 2000 per 100 grams of the same amount. But the question is what are you gonna eat more grams of, matcha or oranges? It's pretty insane to drink 100 grams of matcha in 5 days while it only takes orange a day for you to get the same amount in 5 days. You get the idea. What is auric value? Auric value stands for oxygen radical absorbance capacity. The higher it is, the most powerful antioxidants we have and the more we are able to reduce inflammation and the other way around. Usually per 100 grams, plant-based foods would have around 2000 to 20,000 with some exceptions below and above, while the most powerful herbs and spices such as ground cloves, turmeric powder, dried oregano or cinnamon have somewhere between 200,000 and 300,000 per 100 grams. Now for all the health conscious people out there and heroes trying to sniff a little bit of turmeric powder or eat a whole tablespoon of cinnamon, as I've seen quite a thousand times in my life, you totally shouldn't and can't eat a hundred grams of these kinds of foods like herbs and spices all at once. This is not a challenge nor a recommendation or anything like that, I'm just saying it, we might be better off focusing on medium antioxidant containing foods and eat higher amounts of those, while we can also add herbs and spices as an addition to our meals. So increasing the intake of raw, whole, plant-based organic foods is the key here. So all of these foods on the list are superfoods that can be eaten raw and are pretty delicious, except, well, ginger. Oh, f This is an eye-opening, spiritual awakening, alertness promoting experience. First on our list is blueberries, a very versatile food meaning it can be part of many different diets. 
It is very low in calorie, fresh and sweet while not being so high in sugars. It is high in fiber, pretty rich in antioxidants too. Blueberries, you can choose low bush, high bush version. You can choose bigger or smaller one, frozen or fresh. When it comes to health and antioxidant capacity, there is not a significant difference. Blueberries are rich in fiber, packing around 2.4 grams per 100 grams. They're also filled with water, 84%, and are pretty rich in vitamin C, vitamin K, and manganese, which are great for your skin and bone health. Antioxidant-wise, blueberries contain two powerful compounds such as quercetin, a polyphenolic flavonoid, and anthocyanin, a plant compound, plus loads of vitamin C. Combination of these compounds give blueberries an antioxidant-rich profile, its blue color, and studies found that blueberries had the most powerful antioxidant capacity in comparison to strawberries and blackberries. Number two, ginger. This is one of the most potent herbs when it comes to promoting alertness. It has very kind of spicy flavor to it. It is, that's the main reason why it's used as a spice. Ginger has a light yellow to orange color. It's pretty hard to peel and very good substitute or alternative for coffee or cold showers if you're not feeling it that day. The National Center of Biotechnology published an article which listed many of its uses for nausea, cold hypertension, migraines, and arthritis. It is a great refreshing addition to any drink. Ginger's most powerful compound is gingerol, which is bioactive compound with antioxidant effects shown to reduce free radical damage. It's pretty rich in polysaccharides, lipids, organic acids, raw fiber, and terpenes. One of the juiciest and one of my favorite fruits on the planet is orange, having a ton of uh, health promoting effects such as the other fruits in its family like grapefruit, lemons, and citrus. Uh, it is one of the most widely grown and cultivated tree, especially grown in the tropical regions. Oranges are packed with fiber, providing 80% of recommended daily intake of fiber per only one cup. And they also are pretty rich in phenolic compounds, powerful antioxidants such as anthocyanins and hesperidin. Oranges are loaded with vitamin C, providing up to 95 milligrams per only one cup, plus pantothenic acid, riboflavin, and vitamin B6. It is great for skin health, energy, and regeneration. Number four on our list is broccoli. The green cruciferous vegetable, which you probably think of as the green brother of cauliflower, it has a tons of effects on health, and they share a similar nutritional profile, as well as other cruciferous vegetables. It is one of the most popular, maybe in the top three in the fitness industry that goes along with chicken and rice to build some muscle, and it has some powerful reasons behind it. Broccoli is a very nutrient-dense vegetable with very low caloric profile, packing only 35 calories per 100 grams, also loaded with vitamin A, C, K, and fiber. Due to its high antioxidant capacity, broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables are associated with reduced risk of many diseases due to high content of glucosinolates, flavonoids, sulforaphane, vitamins, and minerals. Number 5. Dark Chocolate this is definitely one of the most potent antioxidant-rich foods that I have included in my diet long ago. It is only considered dark if you eat 65 or more percent of cocoa. Now, this makes sure you reduce the amounts of milk, sugar, and processed fats that are added and you increase the amount of cocoa beans, which are pretty high in antioxidants. Very similar to the coffee beans, sharing its brown color and high antioxidant capacity. Nutritional profile of dark chocolate comes around 30% of carbs, 65 fats, and 5% protein. Dark chocolate has tons of minerals such as magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, copper, manganese, and selenium. Cocoa or dark chocolate can exert cardioprotective effects. It is pretty rich in proanthocyanins, catechins, polyphenolic compounds, and anthocyanins, which are responsible for its powerful antioxidant capacity. Last but not least, Spinach. You probably know these green leafy vegetables not because it's high in fiber but because you watched Popeye when you was a child. Now one of the things I'm interested in, how many of you still as an adult think that Popeye eats spinach? I'm very curious about this. Let me know in the comments below. Back to the spinach. It's very high in fiber, pretty low in calories and it might not be as effective for muscle growth as you may think. Nutrition-wise, spinach is very low in calorie and not at all protein rich. Per 100 grams of raw spinach, we have fiber at around 2.2 grams, low calorie content 23 calories and low protein at 2.9 grams, but high water content of 93%. 
Spinach contains vitamin A, folate, vitamin K, vitamin C and manganese. All great for bone, skin health and energy. Spinach can also be beneficial in boosting your immune system, supporting healthy vision and reducing blood pressure. So one thing I noticed when trying to eat cleaner and incorporate more antioxidants in my diet is that it isn't hard to do so. Just being a little bit more mindful of what I buy for myself and how I combine it has made it much easier. You don't have to go overboard with this and start a specific diet. Just increase the intake of organic, whole and plain based foods such as fruits and vegetables. Whether you choose to drink a little bit more water, learn how to peel a ginger or slice some broccoli, healthy eating is a skill that everyone can choose to learn. Think about small changes as those will result in big improvements later in your health which you will be grateful for. Instead of drinking processed juices, make one yourself. Search for different shake recipes and find what suits you. Make preparing a shake your habit and stick to it. Soon enough it will become a habit. Preparing your meals in advance is the single most important factor when it comes to health as well as having the natural instinct of choosing what's good for you in the long term. This didn't turn out nowhere nearly as green as I expected. Just look at that color. What's that color called? It's raw.